So last night's episode was a complete, complete poor snore snooze fest for me. Nothing epic happened after Rachel got eliminated from the island. Pretty much everybody seems to be all loved up. But there are a few couples who I think are fake. Carrington and Kirsten, I think that's a fake couple. Um, because I think Carrington has inner feelings for Lauren. I now know her name is Lauren. <laughs> yeah, inner feelings for Lauren. Trey and Lauren, not gonna work. I know, you can just tell she's not feeling the boy. He's just had no luck on the island. Um, who else? Moira and what's his face? Calvin are they they seem to be like a good couple, but then during the episode, Calvin was like, Oh yeah, you know, I think we should take things slow, just given how things have been going, and I appreciate you wanting to keep that pace. However, like for me, I think it just gives me wants to it it makes me want to have the opportunity to get to know other people who are coming into the island and also to um have chats with new people who might potentially come obviously moira was bumped by the whole thing by that whole conversation and you know anxieties are coming in again and whatever it's love island that's how it's supposed to go we're not out here watching people bore us we are trying to watch people fall in love okay and it's just like everybody is kind of getting friend zoned they should call it friend zone island at this point the only couple that seems to actually be hot and genuinely um liking each other and going somewhere to me in my opinion is justin and um caleb i am so excited to see what that's going to look like uh, she got frisky with the guy she's clearly feeling the boy and sally and johnny i liked how like you know they're just doing cute couple things like he was doing her nails <laughs> giving her a mani pedi and i thought that was like absolutely cute and i just i just love watching that process of them falling in love other than that, I just think everyone basically is going to break up at some point. Unless like a new chick comes into the villa or new dudes come into the villa. It's basically just boring. Trey, now, predictions for the future. Who do I think is going to get dumped from the island? I think um, either Carrington and Kirsten are going to get dumped by the uh, from the island as a couple or Trey and Lauren. Because as viewers, as viewers, we're just not feeling their vibe. Oh, and Connor and Mackenzie, maybe those might be the first ones to go. So, how during the episode, it was open to the public to vote for the most compatible couple, in our opinion. And then they said that the viewers, I mean, the couple with the fewest votes are going to get dumped. So, that's why I'm saying those are my predictions of the people who may be at risk of getting dumped from the island. Kirsten doesn't seem to be smelling the coffee that Carrington might jump ship. And I keep on talking about this. I've said this over and over and over and over again. And at this point, I'm so tired. I just want new people to come into the island because we have to get rid of the fakery out here in these streets. I just think so but then like you know it's like normal relationships how you can have a friend or you know of a person who is in a relationship and their partner is just like flaky and in your heart of hearts you want them to find somebody else but then they're so invested in that person and they're not going anywhere anytime soon that's kirsten for you she may talk this talk about you know not be, being threatened and her resolving her issues with Carrington, but there's already issues there. If it's so early in a relationship and there are issues, it's not going to work out. And if it does, if it, if, if it extends for a period of time, you're just going to be fighting the entire time and it's gonna be miserable, you know? So is there really any point of holding on? No. Let go. Same thing for Connor and Mackenzie. 
behind her back he's talking about breaking up with her but then he doesn't have the guts he does not have the stones to tell her in person either dude is like extremely scared of this chick and the fallout from her emotions and crying and being hated or he just doesn't know how to navigate navigate through relationships because breakups happen if you're not feeling somebody please just cut the cord end your misery they can you know everyone is responsible for finding love everybody is responsible for maintaining love and everybody is responsible for their own emotions okay assuming that they haven't been like mistreated and connor definitely hasn't mistreated if he continues going the way he's going he's just going to come out looking like a jerk even if maybe to begin with he wasn't a jerk but that's that's how it's gonna end up nice guys can turn into jerks too but that's because they have no stones so pick them up connor pick them up i don't know whose purse you left them in but you need to reclaim them and um yeah justine during the episode was super super risky frisky and i like it i'm like yes yeah, serve it up that's what we came for not necessarily doing any lewd things but then i want to see her coming out of you know her shell and being in her original element you know and caleb seems like a shy guy and i'm like what he does not seem like a shy guy usually what i see like guys who are cute i'm just like oh my gosh immediately i know they're gonna be cocky but he's quite humble he's quite quite humble and i like that i'm like yes 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 get it sister so yeah i am looking forward to new people coming into the villa because at this point unless people start acting right or people start getting their life together and not talking about oh i like her she's super cool like are we in middle school if those are the qualities she's pretty and she's cool boy bye in my opinion who do i think needs to go home i think um carrington needs to go home <laughs> i think mackenzie needs to go home at this point because her tears are just like like i like her don't get me wrong i like her but i just don't think the island is a conducive environment for her i think she needs to be in a space actually if she stays in the island these are my hopes for mackenzie i hope connor dumps her so that she can deal with her own um insecurities her own issues and find a new way to resolve them not necessarily by jumping onto a new boy but looking within herself and making herself a better person because i think she's actually a great person i think um i think connor needs to dump um mackenzie for the same reasons like they're really good they're a good couple but then they don't know how to resolve conflict and that's not taking anywhere far anytime soon that's that looks like an unhealthy relationship in the works in my opinion because now the the truth about the conversation with lauren is going to come out and then it's just going to be dramatic it's going to be tears and i'm not interested in seeing mackenzie's tears no more okay we tired we want to see some smooches we want to see some love we want to see a johnny selly type relationship and i know i know i know i said i didn't like selly but now i love selly remember that shady uh, um, comment caitlin said about selly when uh, johnny was trying to tell her why he picked her and then she's like yeah 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 i get i get why you picked sally like <laughs> she laughs a lot <laughs> Woo! she laughs a lot that was not a compliment sis anywho that's all my piece for today i was completely bored i'm waiting for something more interesting to turn up what was your favorite part of the episode and are you bored like me what really who which couple do you think should be dumped from the island and which do you think is the strongest one do you think lauren and trey are an actual thing or you just think she's just in it and she's gonna dip as soon as a new piece of meat okay sorry not a new piece of meat a new 
valuable human being walks through the doors of the crumble. Let me know. Until next time, peace and stay safe.